Tweet Week, Tweet Week Episode 3. Twitter surpasses 1 billion tweets, hooray! Also in exciting news, Colbert and Stewart mentioned Twitter on their special election show. <gasps> 1 billion tweets, and then this. I think we're gonna get big. Kuvens catches my attention. Kuvens tweets the details of happy hour times and locations and places in New York City. So if you're in New York City, check it out. Tweetsville is a new iPhone Twitter application. I bought it um, this week and I'm not thoroughly impressed. It is better than any of the ones out there, but it's still slow. Twitter has had some serious direct messaging problems this week. Direct messages were disappearing, reappearing, people couldn't find them. It was a big to-do. Friend and follower Roadhacker made an interesting suggestion. He said he gladly would pay a monthly yearly fee if Twitter would improve its SMS, texting, and direct messaging service. I'd love to know who out there wants a better Twitter and who would pay for it. Uh, raise your hands. Anybody? Tweeters are sick of Palin. They're tired of seeing her on the news. They're just sick of it. They're tired of it. They don't want to hear about her anymore. They don't want to see her on any more shows. Sarah Palin, goodbye. The Mars Phoenix has tweeted its last tweet. The little spacecraft has been obliterated by a dust storm on Mars. Bye, Mars Phoenix. Twitter rank sure caused a stir. Was it taking our login information? I don't know if anyone can say for sure, but I used the service and then subsequently changed the login to my Twitter account, just in case. Terrorist tweets! <gasps> the U.S. Army warns of Twitter danger. One of the fastest trending topics to date, Anita. Well, Anita is a Twitter conversation that started in Portugal uh, and it's about a series of books. Anita is a lady in a book that helps kids read. There's even a website, Anita Twitter Star. It was a fast trending topic and it flew through the Twitter sphere like a virus. Kevin Rose has a cold and his cold has a Twitter account. Last time I checked, it had over 822 followers. Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rudd has joined Twitter. What does this mean? I don't know. Is it really him? Probably not, but fun stuff anyways. Check out the show notes for a link to Jacob Burke's Twitter contest. You can win some eat sleep tweet paraphernalia. There are rumors that AT&T is going to enable tethering for the Apple iPhone. This means that you can hook up your, your iPhone to your computer and get your wireless internet access from your iPhone to your computer. Um, Blackberries can already currently do this. This would be a huge um, step for AT&T and for iPhone. $30 charge is a little steep, but it's still cheaper than it's ever been. Blackberry Storm is almost here. Lots of people want it. It is sexy. The Red Digital Camera has been released and they have changed everything. It has amazing 3D features and capabilities and photographers everywhere are geeking out. Okay guys, there's a website that now tells you how to know if your cat is trying to plot to kill you. So keep it on the download, don't let your cat see it, but check out the website. It's in the show notes. Pregnant man Thomas Beatty is pregnant again! Huh? The pregnant man from whenever he was pregnant? Well, he's pregnant again. Where was everyone this week? PubCon in Vegas. Jeff Pulver's social media jungle. Twitter for Biz was a webinar that people were at virtually. The new TV Live livestream panel was about television reinvented. Woma, also known as Word of Mouth Marketing Association, had its annual research symposium and marketing summit in Las Vegas. There was tattooing at the conference, which annoyed other conference goers because as the panel was speaking, people were getting tattooed and the buzzing was annoying. There was a Doma social media webinar, which helps real estate agents and brokers better use things like Facebook and YouTube and Twitter in a way that helps them with their business. And then I'll leave you again with some of the more hilarious tweets posted this week.